Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my May update to the Pan That Face Palette project. I was not sure who created this project, and so I did some research, and I looked for Pan That Face Palette here on YouTube, and I went back, and the oldest video that I can find was from about four years ago, and this is from somebody named Bethany, and her YouTube channel is Glamour With Grace. So I do have a link down below to her intro video to the pan that face palette. Like I said, she has the oldest pan that face palette video that I can find, and I did watch her video, and it doesn't sound like she's crediting anybody. So I have Bethany linked down below in case you want to go check out her video. She has not posted in a several years, but again, that is the person who I think maybe created pan that face palette. So I'm really excited that I am doing it this year. I've decided to pan my Cover FX Perfector face palette in the shade Light Medium. As of the last update, I had to repress my palette. So as promised, I took pictures and we'll go ahead and pop those up on the screen. As you can see, my finishing powder and the contour product were all around the edges, so I repressed them and this is what it looked like after I repressed it. So now that I've shown you that, let's go ahead and switch the picture again to what my palette looks like today. Let's go over the number of uses for each one of these shades. I have zero uses in the shade Starlight. I have 13 uses in the shade Moonbeam. I have 13 uses in the shade Divine. I have 13 uses in the shade Silhouette. I have 13 uses in the shade Stellar. And I have 13 uses in the shade Sublime. So now let's go ahead and change the picture. The one on the top is what it looked like when I started this project back in January. The one on the bottom is what it looks like currently. And let's go over the total number of uses for each one of these products. I have eight uses in the shade Starlight. I have 74 uses in the shade Moonbeam. I have 47 uses in the shade Divine. I have 60 uses in the shade Silhouette. I have 83 uses in the shade Stellar, and I have 73 uses in the shade Sublime. So now let's talk about some of the goals that I have set. My goals were to repress both of these, which I did, and then to try to hit pan in them again. As you can see, I hit huge pan in this one. There was not a lot of product in here. This one is a lot thicker than I thought it would be, so I don't have pan. Yeah, there is a little teeny speckle of pan up there. However, that's just for me repressing it. That is not me hitting pan again. I also had the goal for this one to try to expand the pan up here so that it was a lot easier to see. For last month, that pan was teeny tiny. And hopefully you can see that I have hit pan in this highlighter right here. It took me 62 uses to hit pan in that highlighter. So I am really happy about that. I did not use this one because I have been pairing these two together. I had no idea I was that close to hitting pan in that darker highlighter. I'm quite pleased with that. Even though I didn't have a goal to hit pan on that highlighter, I did. So I will take it. I now have four pans that have pan in them. I'm going to go ahead and count this one since I did hit pan in it previously. Now when I did discuss the total number of uses, I'm only talking about the total number of uses since I started this project in January. If you remember, all of these shades had 16 previous uses with the exception of this one. This had 66 previous uses in it. So I did mention that this had 60 uses in this project. If I add the 66, then that's 126 uses so far in this product. So well, I got a lot of uses in here. I'm quite pleased with my progress. I've only had four months working on this. I'm still nervous about being able to finish all the highlighters, but I'm really happy with where I am so far in this project. So now let's go ahead and talk about the weights. As you can see, I was able to finish off 1.62 grams worth of product over the past month. That's a little bit lower than what I typically finish per month, but that is okay because I did have several non-makeup days during the month of April, so it is showing in the weights. When I take the 1.62 grams that I finished over the past month and add it in with everything else that I have finished since January, I have finished off a total of 7.88 
grams worth of product in this palette. So not bad, I'm really happy with that progress. So now looking at this, let's go ahead and set some goals for next month. I think the obvious one is going to be that I want to completely finish off this finishing powder right here. That will be a super easy goal and I think this will be done maybe even within a week. So that one will be completely finished. For the rest of these, I'm gonna keep plugging away. I wanna say that I could hit pan in the contour shade. Yeah, let's go ahead and set that as a goal. I wanna to try to hit pan in this one right here. And I think now that I have pan in this one, I need to go back over and start using this one. I have been ignoring it. So far, I think I said I have eight total uses in this highlighter. It is time to use this one and I will mix these two together. So this is the highlighter that I have been ignoring. It is the shade Starlight right here. It's a bit of a light gold. I do like to mix it with the highlighter in the middle which is that one, and I'll show you what the two of them look like mixed together. So this is what the two of them look like together. It's a perfect blend of these two, and it is the right shade for me right now, so I'm not sure why I'm reaching for the darker color. So that is gonna be my goal, just to reach for that. I don't think that I will have pan for the next update at all in that shade, but I do wanna reach for that and start getting those numbers higher as to how many uses I have on that highlighter. So that is my entire update. Like I always do, there will be a slideshow at the end and I will include the slide with the repress in there so that you can see the true comparison from the repress to what it looks like today. That is everything that I have for you. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.